All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been quite a bit since I've opened any Star Wars CCG on the channel. For those of you that don't know, this is a, a very old Star Wars card game made by Decipher. It spanned the original trilogy and it made it up to the Phantom Menace before, unfortunately, it ceased to exist. I will warn you, as of right now, I am just a collector of this game. I don't play it, so I cannot and will not be commenting on the playability of these cards. But I am a big Star Wars fan, and I also happen to be a really big fan of like the weird alien characters and monsters and such that exist throughout the Star Wars universe. So we're going to be opening this up and hoping to get something really nice. The way the Reflections pack works, this is a pretty rare set to get these days, uh, brand new sealed in a booster pack, and you get 15 cards in here. And one of them is a guaranteed foil card, so one card is definitely a foil. And then you can get cards from all these sets, A New Hope, Hoth, Dagobah, Cloud City, Jabba's Palace, and Special Edition. So we can hope for like a foil Vader, a foil Luke Skywalker. We're just hoping for any kind of cool foil of a main character. This is my first time opening a Reflections pack, so I'm going to kind of take my time and enjoy this. And please, in the comments below, if I open anything really crazy that maybe I didn't realize, like maybe it's a, a non-foil card that goes for like 5 to $10, which in the realm of this is actually a pretty big deal for Star Wars uh, CCG when it comes to just random rare pulls that you can get. Please let me know in the comments below because um, I'm definitely not an expert on this, but let's very carefully open this up. So the Reflections set was essentially Decipher's way of reprinting, or not reprinting, but getting rid of a huge excess. Like, this is a really loose pack. My goodness, this pack is huge. Like a lot of room to move around inside of here. But it was their way of essentially getting rid of a ton of their overstock of some of the older sets. And then they did something new with foils. So they would just randomly put a foil from one of the past sets in here. And uh, I don't know what the pack trick is. So we're just going to kind of go really slow and anticipate that, that foil card. So uh, their cards are not known for being the best of condition fresh out of a pack. And that movability inside that pack worried me a little bit, but these look pretty nice. These are nice and packed fresh. Essentially, I opened these because I would eventually like to start grading some of these. There's a nice grading community for Star Wars CCG that submits to PSA, and I'm really hoping CGC grading starts to take off a little bit more for them as well. Um, big, really playable card game that people still play to today online. So there's still a big community. Oh, there's our foil. Boy, that just came out of nowhere. So we got Haven... Not a main character, not something we're looking for. I'm unsure on the rarity on this. But uh, I am a pretty big fan of their foils. They do look really nice. Sort of a spot foiling effect that goes on where they leave certain parts out that aren't foiled and foil others and not other parts of the card. So there is our foil. I will sleeve that up. But the fun is we can still get some really fun, good cards, like rares and main characters and such. In the remainder of these cards because it's just completely random so let's see what we get uh, like i said i'm going to be looking for any kind of i'd be really happy if i pulled a greedo a pack fresh greedo would be awesome because i do want to try and grade a gem mint 10 greedo pretty much any of the creatures from the cantina any main characters i'll be quite happy with that These cards are known for having a lot of text, and some of the cards are quite complicated. The white border essentially uh, just means that these, this is like a revised set. Black border is the original printing. In the case of Hoth cards, some people actually prefer the revised because of the white border. It looks really nice with the snow cards. And no main characters, nothing crazy. We did get a Jawa, though. So that's going to be it for my first ever pack of Reflections. Let me know if I got anything good. It doesn't really seem like it, but we did get a Hollow Haven. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I got a couple more of these I'm going to be doing in the future, so look forward to that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Got a lot more Star Wars CCG, CCG pack openings coming in the future. I also open uh, Lord of the Rings to Safer packs as well.